This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is five minutes on tech. This time, it's really going to be five minutes. I'm going to try it, honestly. So this one, you know, it's funny because our last video was actually of a gaming all-in-one, and there was a very long thread in the comments section about why are gaming laptops so ugly? And the funny thing is, that was the subject I was going to use for our five minutes on tech. So that's it. Why are gaming laptops so ugly? Okay. That said, you know what? I... I like the way gaming laptops look often. Not all of them, not all of them, but I like the aggressive looks. I like a gaming laptop. This is a gaming laptop, you know? But that's because I'm one of the fortunate people. I work in technology, so I can have a gaming laptop, and then I can have the one like I take to press events and say, look at me, I'm all conformist to normal and have a pretty laptop, right? A lot of people need to have just one laptop, particularly students going off to college, you know, or some of you are lucky enough to have your bosses go ahead and buy you the laptop that you asked for, and then you show up with something like this, and they say, no, return that right now, because it's going to make your, your compatriots either not take you seriously or be jealous, and they're all going to want one before you know it. The whole world's going to be RGB LED keyboards, right? Well, that might not be so bad, but that's another thing. For those of you who complain about the RGB LED backlight keyboards, by the way, keep in mind that all of them you can program just have white LED backlight. Okay, why are they so... If they're not ugly, okay, why are they so out there in the way they look? And why are they often less chic looking than, say, this? Like, Apple once made a MacBook Pro, you know, the 2012 edition, that actually had some gaming chops. Apple don't do that anymore, sadly. And then you have something like the HP Spectre X3 60 15-inch NVIDIA 940M graphics. Not gaming graphics, really. Beautiful, right? There's two reasons. Fiscal and physics. First off, fiscal means... You can have whatever you want, but it's going to cost you. There is the Razer Blade Pro, $3,600 and up. Okay, you get your GTX 1080. That's the best you can get for a graphics card. You get your quad-core i7. If you want it pretty and you want it slim, although it's still, you know, you can't get so, so slim with a gaming laptop. That's the physics part we'll get to. It costs money. Why does it cost money? Because these are expensive components in the laptop. So... You add on the cost of a high-class metal shell, unibody kind of design language. These things are expensive. It's not just that they pork you for it because they say it's pretty and we know it. It costs more to make this kind of shell. Gaming laptops already have expensive components in them, so you're increasing the price. And that makes a big difference for a lot of buyers right there, doesn't it? Also, you have sometimes even have to use higher quality capacitors and other components because there's more heat. If they're going for a thinner design, like something like, say, the regular razor blade even, I, you, it's going to get hot in there. And the MSI Stealth Pro and all that sort of thing. So you got to make sure you use components that can withstand the heat. So the razor blade, not the Pro, the regular razor blade averages around $2,000 or so, give or take, depending on what they're changing. So it has just an NVIDIA, I say just, but it's a nice card, GTX 1060 inside of it. That's still the lowest end of the performance range that NVIDIA offers with the 1070 and the 1080 above it. They can't even squeeze anything bigger in there. So that's comparable in terms of what you get inside to something like um, the MSI Leopard series which is around $1,300, $1,400. So you can see how much you're paying for the nicer looks. That's the fiscal part of it. The other part is physics. There's a reason why this 17-inch Predator is so big. Looking at the internals, you see the fans, the size of the fans, two of those put together, are equal to the entire motherboard on a 13-inch MacBook Pro or a 13-inch HP Spectre. Why do you need those fans? Because when you get high-performance graphics cards and core i7 quad cores, they need a lot of cooling. Hence, you need more thickness, more space. So there's physics in action. They're going to be more bulky no matter what. So you say, okay, they can make it pretty. Well, you know what? If you took the razor blade or this MacBook Pro, and this is the 2015 edition, not even the skinny 2016 edition, once you make this three times as thick to accommodate those components, the design may look awkward. So you can't, it's not as simple as just make a triple thick razor blade or MacBook Pro. So they have to find a design that works. Not so easy. Uh, you know, Alienware tried it with the latest Alienware editions. They're very flat. They're slim looking, uh, a little monotonous in the color scheme maybe, but a little tasteful there. So that's one problem. Now, I will agree that I think most MSI and ASUS laptops, gaming laptops, as much as I like to game with them, are just kind of ugly because they mix too many different surfaces. Okay, they're going to be mostly plastic. That keeps down on the weight. There's another physics issue there. But they've got 
metal on the lid, brushed black metal. Then they have plastics on the interior. You've got too many different finishes going on. I would say something like the Predator or the Alienware line currently is at least doing a good job by keeping a kind of unified look and set of finishes here. The Alienware does a two-tone scheme. But this isn't that cheap looking or that bad looking because it has a kind of unified look to it and pretty sturdy build. Uh-oh, are we passing the five minute mark? The cat's falling asleep, he says. Hurry up, hurry up. Studio Cat in action. There you have it. Two reasons why it just doesn't come together and happen for you. For those of you who want gaming laptops that look nicer, you can go low end now and you know, Moore's law says that things get more powerful and you can make them smaller at the same time these days. So look at the uh, Dell XPS 15. GTX 1050, it's, it's capable of gaming. It's not a high-end gaming machine. So there are some choices out there. Again, the Razer Blade, there's a few. But the most important thing is manufacturers say that Feedback tells them that most people like the way the gaming laptops look. So why is that? In part because who goes to PAX East? Who goes to the GamesCon shows? It's probably gaming enthusiasts who actually like the way this looks. So for those of you who are more like business people, quiet, understanding student type, you're not going to those events, they're not finding out. So I suggest you write emails to the president's office. Don't talk to customer support. They, you know, that's never gonna go anywhere. If you feel strongly about it, if you want something that's prettier, send emails, let them know. If they get enough emails from people like you, then they may make more of them that look a little bit more, as some of you say, grown up.